Modern. 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 We're prepping for a voyage. Modern. The force of an old fashioned equals whiskey mass times bitters acceleration. Why don't you make that a double? Modern Bar Cart. What's shaking, cocktail fans? Welcome back to another episode of the Modern Bar Cart Podcast. I'm your host, Modern Bar Cart CEO, Eric Koslick. Thanks for joining me for this special holiday episode. If you've been listening over the past month or so, you know we've been trying to prepare you for this festive time of year with cocktail recipes and DIY gifts to impress your friends and family. So if you haven't already listened to our last couple episodes, that would be like the Milk Punch episode or our Homemade Liqueur episode that we've launched in the past couple weeks, I highly recommend you go back and listen to those. They're really cool And again, they give you great ammo for this holiday season, whether it's for recipes or actual gifts. But this episode, I thought it'd be fun to give you kind of a practical gifting guide that'll help you select the perfect cocktail present for the enthusiast or professional mixologist on your gift list. And to do that, we're going to have to break things down into a couple of useful categories based on both the experience level of the people on your list and the amount of money that you have budgeted for this. But before we completely dive in, I think this would be a great time for you to make yourself a festive drink. This episode's featured cocktail is a Puerto Rican take on eggnog called Coquito. And this particular recipe is a real treat because it comes to us courtesy of Cesar from Maryland, who's a friend of the pod and who was generous enough to share his grandfather's coquito recipe. Everyone knows that family is one of the best parts about the holiday season and those secret family recipes that make a special appearance year after year seem to kind of get woven into the DNA of a perfect holiday get together. So without further ado, here's Florentino Ramos's famous Coquito recipe. Cesar says, my grandfather worked in distilleries in both Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands back in the 1940s, and this is the recipe my family has been following since then. This recipe includes a tiny piece of ginger, giving the Coquito a bit of a bite, but not so much that people who don't like ginger will be turned off. To make it, you'll need two cinnamon sticks, one half inch piece of fresh ginger grated, one five ounce can of evaporated milk, one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, right? So we're looking at 16 to 18 ounces total here of the evaporated milk, one 12 ounce can of cream of coconut, which is different, much richer than coconut milk, five egg yolks, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one and a half cups of rum. Here's how you go about putting all these ingredients together. First step is to boil the ginger and cinnamon with that five ounce can of evaporated milk in a small saucepan. Then in a bowl, beat the egg yolks and add that warmed spiced milk that you just boiled with the ginger and the cinnamon, making sure you pass it through a strainer first to remove those whole spices. Once you've done that, in a medium saucepan, blend the mixture with the 12 ounce cans of evaporated milk and coconut cream. Heat this over medium heat until it thickens, stirring constantly, and then allow it to cool before adding rum to taste. Cesar recommends, of course, Don Q Crystal, which is a great affordable option, but you can definitely tweak your rum choice to fit your own personal flavor preferences. One last thing to note here is that Coquito is very easy to batch ahead of time and it can be stored in a bottle in the refrigerator for several weeks. So it's not something that needs to be made the day of in order to be delicious. Thanks to Cesar for sending in that recipe. And now let's bust out the wrapping paper and figure out the best holiday cocktail gifts for you to get your friends and loved ones this year. I'm gonna do kind of a three by three breakdown. The first three is the experience level of the person you're shopping for, right? So we've got 
enthusiasts who are just starting to get their feet wet. We've got home bartenders who have a little bit more experience and are still kind of in the middle of their journey. And then we've got at the other end of the spectrum, expert mixologists. And these might be folks who work in the industry or just people who are really skilled and who have spent the time to accrue a lot of knowledge and gear so that they might be a little bit tougher to shop for. And then the other part of our breakdown, the other three things that we're going to kind of do to categorize here is price. We're going to do a budget option, kind of like $20 and under, you know, for a medium price, which is somewhere in the $50 range. And then we're going to, at the end of the episode, cover the gifts that are $100 and over. So another thing to note is I'll be throwing out some brand names here. And I want to be clear that we're not getting paid by anybody to endorse these companies or their products. If it makes the list, it's because I personally think it's a great gift option for that type of person at that cost level. So uh, the last thing to note would be that the show notes page is going to have links to all the products I mentioned. And at the end of the episode, I got one last little treat for you. It's a special discount code for the Modern Bar Cart e-commerce store that's only available to podcast listeners. We're not putting this discount out anywhere else. So stay tuned. You definitely don't want to miss out on that. And now let's get to the gifties. On the budget end of things, there's a surprising number of really great stocking stuffers for pretty much any skill level on your list. For beginners, I always like to give some sort of educational tool. Right? These are the folks who are just dipping their toes into the world of cocktails, so I like to help stoke that fire whenever I can. So in that spirit, here's a few great beginner gift options under 20 bucks. First and foremost, Amy Stewart's book, The Drunken Botanist, is on sale right now for way under $20 on Amazon. This is a book that's frequently recommended on the podcast, and I can't recommend it highly enough as a way to learn about how various flavors arise in our drinks. Then we've got David Wondrich's category-defining book, Imbibe, which is also on sale, and that's for about $18 on Amazon, and this is a great gift if you've got someone who's a bit of a history buff. Wondrich does a ton of really awesome archival research that really sheds light on the American history of spirits and cocktails. Both of those books are great reads, and I highly recommend them. And then finally, we here at Modern Bar Cart also have a great affordable tool specifically designed for beginners. It's a product we just launched called the Essential Tasting Journal for Spirits and Cocktails. We just wrapped up a successful pre-order round for this product on Kickstarter, and it's now available for purchase over at modernbarcart.com. It is only $18, and it contains around 30 pages of in-depth instruction on how flavor works, how to conduct a proper tasting, and how to write good tasting notes. And then after that introductory material, it also contains a whole bunch of logbook style note taking sections for all your favorite spirits and cocktails. If you want to learn all about the other features, head on over to Kickstarter or the product page on our site and check out the full video review there. But let's say you're shopping for somebody who already knows a decent amount about cocktails. This is the kind of person who keeps posting shots on Instagram person who's always looking for a guinea pig to taste their newest creations. What do you get this kind of person for a stocking stuffer? Well, I like to think about helping them make their cocktails more beautiful, right? They're already doing it. How can we help them do it better? And there's a lot of cheap options for just that purpose. One great stocking stuffer is a set of unique metal cocktail picks. We'll link to a couple different options in the show notes page, but I'm particularly drawn to a set by Zenlogy that has some sleek stainless steel picks and also comes with a swizzle stick, which is something that not all home bartenders have. Or you could go for a more eclectic approach with a set by Prodyne that has different cocktail-related charms on the top of each pick, including a jigger, a cobbler shaker, a citrus wedge, and others. It's a good way to uh, keep everyone's glasses straight. You, you know, it's almost like the Monopoly piece model of uh, little cocktail picks where everyone has their own unique pick. Thinking about making Instagram shots more beautiful, you can also see if you can get a little peek 
at your gift subject kitchen setup or their, their bar setup. What if you could grab some low budget gadgets like a microplane for grating nutmeg or a channel knife for making citrus ribbons or even an atomizer for spraying a fine mist of potent bitters or absinthe? All these are really affordable, and if you're crafty, you can even pick out a recipe for them to try out using these tools and attach it on a little card. All those recommendations are gonna cost you well under $20, and they're great if you just want a little something uh, to gift to the cocktail enthusiast in your life. Stocking stuffers for the professional bartender or for the home mixologist who's already got everything can start to get tricky. They tend to already be pretty well stocked, so what I like to do is instead of trying to get them something that they already have or something that they don't really need, I try and come out of left field. I go for something that's maybe a little silly or unexpected. And we didn't plan it this way, but we here at Modern Bar Cart actually have a brand new novelty gift that's perfect for just such an occasion in our Shower Negroni and Shower Mule cocktail scented body bars. These are only eight bucks a piece or two for 15 right now over at modernbarcart.com. And they check all the boxes that you want from a premium soap. They're olive oil based, vegan, palm free, and they make your skin feel super, super nice. So if you're shopping for the mixologist who has everything, I'm willing to bet they don't have cocktail scented soaps. Next up, let's talk about larger ticket items that fall somewhere in the $50 range. For beginners, here's what I'm thinking. On the educational front, a book like Liquid Intelligence by Dave Arnold is a great reference guide that they can take with them throughout their life. It's really exhaustive, and it's chock full of amazing info and recipes. That's a hardcover book that usually weighs in around $40, but man, I get a ton of use out of my copy, and uh, you know, if you're willing to drop a decent amount of money on a book, that's a great option. And in a similar vein, there are some great spirit infusion kits or even homemade gin making kits out there where you take vodka and then convert it into gin by infusing it with botanicals. And these are also not going to break the bank. They're in the $30 to $50 range as well. This way, your budding home bartender can start working with real flavors and ingredients and enjoy more of a hands-on process if they're not sort of into the, the reading side of things. For the intermediate home bartender, this price point is where we start looking at bottles. And the question you should really be asking yourself is, what does this person enjoy drinking and how can I hit that note while also adding a touch of surprise or innovation? So let's do a little case study to explain what I mean by that. Let's say you've got somebody who's really into Negronis. Every time you visit her, she offers you a Negroni. She's obsessed. If I were shopping for this person, a couple ideas would come to mind in terms of finding a way to add something new and fun to the equation. What I might do is I might see if there are either local or unusual bottles to sub in for the typical ingredients. So I might try and find a local gin, a local bitter aperitif to replace the Campari, and maybe even like an American sweet vermouth. For those last two, I really enjoy the Tiber Bitter Aperitif by Capitoline Vermouth based here in DC. And I'm also quite partial to Via Sweet Vermouth. That's V-Y-A, it's a California based brand. And I like it because it's not like an Italian style sweet vermouth, and it's not like a French style. It's uniquely and distinctly its own thing. And I guess we could call that American. Another idea, in the same vein, would be to push the script a little further. Your friend likes Negronis? Cool, what about a Mezcal Negroni? Or what if you picked up a bottle of Suze and a bottle of Lille Blanc so she can try her hand at a white Negroni? Now, the one problem here is that these ideas obviously require a bit of knowledge on the cocktail front. So if you're new to cocktails or if you just run out of ideas, feel free to send us an email at podcast at modernbarcart.com and we'll be happy to see if we can help you out and give you a little bit of inspiration to figure out what bottles to pick up for the enthusiasts in your life. Finally, for the expert bartender, one great option I've come across in the $50 range is a specially designed bartender apron. There's a couple companies out there that seem to be doing a good job 
including Hudson Durable Goods and Under NY Sky. Now, when it comes to aprons like this, a couple quality points to look for are waxed canvas material for durability, reinforced seams, riveted corners, pockets for specialized cocktail tools, a towel loop, which is something that all bartenders want, and the apron that I put on my holiday wish list actually doubles as a knife roll. These aprons are great gifts because they're hyper-specialized, right? Only really serious bartenders are going to want one of these, but they're also not going to break the bank. So it's a great intermediate level gift for the expert on your list. Now that we've covered both the normal stocking stuffers and the giftier level items that are on $50, let's jump off the deep end and throw caution and our wallets to the wind with cocktail presents that come with a steep price tag, but that are totally worth it. If you want to splurge on the cocktail novice in your life, one great option is to buy them a class, right? An experience that's really going to help them take their skills to the next level. I know personally that one of the best investments of a couple hundred dollars I ever made was my intermediate wine and spirits course, courtesy of the WSET, which stands for the Wine and Spirits Educational Trust. It's an international organization. Here in the DC area, I can personally vouch for the Capital Wine School in Friendship Heights, which is where I took that WSET certification class. But if you live near a major metropolitan area, there's probably some place near you that offers educational classes like this. Uh, so to learn more about those types of classes, go ahead and visit wsetglobal.com. Next up, if you're looking at big budget gifts for the enthusiast in your life, that person who's been experimenting for a little while now, what I'd recommend is something like the brand new aviary cocktail book, which is just about the hottest publication out there at the moment. It's one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen, and it takes you through some of the most innovative cocktails and service methods pioneered by the aviary, which is a famous cocktail bar in Chicago. The signed reserve edition of this book costs about $135. A more hands-on gift for the enthusiast in your life, it could be something like a personalized charred oak barrel for aging spirits at home. These usually start out around $50, but as soon as you go for anything over a, a liter or you want to customize it somehow, you're definitely looking at $100 and up. You can find these on Etsy and all over the web from Cooperages around the country. Finally, let's get to a couple of pricey buys for the mixologist who has everything. One tool that I've personally been drooling over is a clear ice sphere press. And the best looking one I've come across is from a company called Iceberg. That's ice, B-I-R-G. So with this, what you do is you freeze large chunks of ice so it doesn't do any of the freezing for you, although it does come with some molds. And then you put those larger chunks into your ice press, which essentially presses down and melts them into perfect spheres. This is definitely a professional quality product and it's cool that it comes with a lifetime warranty. And as an added little bit of flair, they even have a model available on their website that turns out ice shaped like giant diamonds. And when the base model starts at $200, I think we should expect nothing less. Finally, on the spirits side of things, a great blockbuster purchase for your professional mixologist, friend, or family member is a bottle of Chartreuse VEP. This is basically a super premium version of an already premium liqueur, and the VEP after Chartreuse stands for, get ready for a little bit of French pronunciation butcherage, vieillissement exceptionnellement prolongé, which means just that it was aged for an extra long time. That's a lot of syllables to make that point. But each limited edition bottle comes in its very own branded box, and only a very limited number of these bottles are imported into the United States every year. So it's no surprise that they start around $130 per bottle. That rounds out this quick little gift guide episode of the Modern Bar Cart Podcast. I hope this was a helpful way 
for you to start thinking about all the cocktail-related presents you'll need this holiday season. But before you go, I believe I promised you a special coupon code at the beginning of the episode. So if you go to modernbarcart.com and enter the special code HOLIDAYPOD18, all one word, 18 is a number, at checkout, you'll receive 15% off your entire order. Limit one per customer. And remember, we offer free shipping on all orders over 40 bucks. So if you start stacking those cool discounts on top of one another, you can get a lot of gear uh, for not all that much money. This code's only for podcast listeners, and it's going to be live through December 17th, 2018. After that, it turns off because uh, this is kind of our deadline for holiday orders. Remember, we need to get these things shipped to you, so the more time we have to get that out, the better. And be sure to let us know at checkout if you are gifting something and you'd like to include a customized gift message. We can totally take care of that. That's all I've got for now. So until next time, make sure you tag us at Modern Bar Cart on Facebook and Instagram when you show off your Coquito pictures and eggnog adventures. Cheers. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, there's two big things you can do for us here at Modern Bar Cart. One would be to tell your friends and family if you think they'd enjoy listening to us talk about cocktails. And if they don't download podcasts, they can always stream our episodes on their desktop directly from the show notes page at modernbarcart.com. The other thing you can do to help would be to head on over to iTunes or wherever you download your podcasts and leave us a review. Five stars are great, but we're more interested in your feedback. And the beauty is the more reviews we have, the easier it will be for other folks out there to learn about our show. We're trying to start cocktail revolution here and by spreading the word you're helping us fight the good fight you can always reach us by emailing podcast at modernbarcart.com if you're looking for cocktail or bartending advice or if you're a pro who would like to pull up a mic and be interviewed for all to hear also definitely follow us on instagram and facebook at modern bar cart for cocktail porn recipes and entertaining tips and keep an eye out new product releases, and special offers, which are happening all the time. We love our listeners, and we really enjoy giving you exclusive discounts and sneak peeks at our latest and greatest cocktail projects. This episode may be over, but for you, the mixological fun and adventures are just beginning, so remember, folks, drink responsibly and experiment boldly. This episode was made possible with editing and production assistance by Samantha Reed and a little bit of audio magic by yours truly. This has been a Modern Bar Cart production, copyright 2018.